me ninth, probably. And by probably, it's definitely on there. Don't know why. We do it this way, but that's just the way it is, so. Yeah, to be honest, Game of the Week is pretty dead for you back. Yeah, we've been looking to get back into that, and it's just been like, ah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's already done, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, the old, like, the old argument was that um, if there were, like, if we ran a melee tournament every week, then, um, or, like, a, a Smash tournament every week, then it would take away from, like, people entering Game of the Week. But there's, like, yeah. very think, much zero crossover. Yeah, Game of the Week kind of died, not because, like, any circumstances to do with the games. It was the fact that we were changing rooms constantly so that people at EVAC mm. changed so frequently because, like, it's hard enough to get new people to come to a thing where you know, when you got to add, oh yeah, come to this room and it's yeah. just like, where the fuck's that? Fix student lounge or like any of the other eight or nine rooms we were in last year. Yeah, it was a rough, we were definitely um, the nomadic Smash people. Um, yeah, to be honest, like, I'm a fan of, um, say, Melee one week, for, for, like, for the Friday. Melee one week, ultimate one week, then a week off. In terms of, like, and then, like, reset. I mean... Because that lets people, for the week off, then run, you know, say, someone wants to run a Brawl tournament or yeah. whatever. I, I think the hard thing becomes then figuring out what when the week is, sort of thing. Because if it's every four weeks, you know it's roughly once a month. I right? guess, yeah. But then you got to start dealing with, you know... What happens when we hit the thing and it's like, ah, it's already been, like, like this month's weird enough with two of them in a month. Like, you start adding two every month and then you got new players asking why the fuck there's two melee tournaments this month but only one ultimate one. Despite them having weeklies and shit. We mean, there should be, there would be two for both. No, it wouldn't be. Wait. Because uh, there's only four uh, weeks. Yeah, you're right, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think, I don't. I think we should I probably don't. just be, like, we should figure out in the schedule and go, right, Melee is the second, the first week in the month, and Ultimate's like the fourth or something. I don't know. Some way of avoiding cheese leaks and uh, other monthly events. So that we, instead of having this, like, well, it's every second week, we could just go, it's the first Friday. Or whatever, yeah. Anyway, we're going. This is, um. Still going Falcon. Is he full swapping, or? I don't think so. I think this is. That's what I thought, but. Well, he's oh. trying it again. I said it like it didn't work last time. He definitely went... They traded sets last time. They sure did, but the second one was looking a lot worse. Yeah. So whether that's Ruben playing worse or whether... Uh, whoops, no, that one. In-game. There we go. I was... Oh, okay, yeah. Mirror. And he is not Samus. He is... Falcon. Oh, oh, oh it's Captain. Captain. Yeah. yeah. At the green. <coughs> uh, now you got to do the thing. Is that not? Ah, because they're on the wrong bases. Wait, what? It was already the right one, I think. Oh, but yeah, the, yeah, you, you're right. Did yep, that? you're right. Why is that not? You swap all. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. It, like, it took forever. Um. Is Nang oh, a Samus? Nang is, is. He's a fox. He's a falcon. He's a floaty with good fundamentals, so he can play. Um, he is capable of Samus. Yep. And he's one of the um, top players in the region, so um, it means that he has a lot of time to practice secondaries against his fellow. Um, I'm sure there's a. I'm sure there's a whole like there's hours of. Um, Falcon again, like Falcon friendlies against, say, random dice people. Yeah, yeah, you gotta think. You don't imagine he's been, you know. Because, like, I, dice isn't the sort of place where I feel like you sit down and you're like, right, I'm about to play a few hours of Samus. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. See if we can close. Okay, it doesn't. It's hard. It's, yeah. it's hard as Falcon. Interesting that Kai moved forward for that. Yeah, I thought... Uh, like, unless he was expecting Ruben to really FDI out, I don't know what that was about. Maybe he just, you know, accidentally flicked the stick as if he's going forward or something. Maybe. Maybe he thought he's going to land a bit further away. Man, Falco Shine's broken. <laughs> Killed off the side at 175. Damn. What a move. What a... Uh, okay. Anyone deal with a move that good? Alright, he just... Yeah, he... Uh, Kai just doesn't do the... Get the free ledge. 
Well, no, I think he was trying to go to ledge there. I think that's the thing. I think he was trying to go to ledge, but he just messed up the angle. I don't know. That I think so. It feels like an angle he hits like 100% of the time, so. I'm going. If if that's if you're right, that's not a good time to try for the set. Maybe. Falcon's the sort of character that, like, if you're missing edge guards, you feel it. No, missing recoveries, I mean. Yeah. Because he's not, like. And techs. Yeah, Falcon's and not. Well, yeah, execution <laughs> is. I think more in terms of recovery. Like, Falcon's not the sort of character that, like, will edge guard you super strong, like, unless he goes out there and gets you, sort of thing, right? Mm. Like, everyone else in the cast kind of waits for you to do a thing and then punishes you for trying to come back. Whereas Falcon tries to hit you on your startup. And, like, if you're allowed to start up against Falcon, you should get back. Like, this. Uh, oh, you did. Get the right Gentlemen, yeah. Okay, well, at least. Like, Kai's done yeah, to the eye of these arm down is. Yeah. Damn, enough time. Yeah. Was... I mean, you had enough time. It's, um. It's easy to forget after being used to like spacey up B and like that side B is yeah, side actually B, very punishing. laggy move. <laughs> Even knee can hit it. Knee starts knee. frame like forty seven. Yeah, the thing is, I want to like. I actually don't. I don't play much Falcon, and I definitely yeah. don't edge guard much <laughs> with Falcon. So, but in theory, couldn't he like do something similar to Fox and Falco, where he like grabs Sledge, goes out, does like a back air to cover Falco going to um. I guess the question is, what does he go for afterwards if Falco goes high? Maybe yeah, Falco. Then? Yeah, like so. I think the big thing is you just run off knee and then double jump up air, and that covers like most mm. things. The scary part is if they get past you up there. Right? Yeah, and you're, you're such a terrible position. Yeah. Point. Oh, these so, back airs. Are just, he's just putting out these back airs, and Kai's. Just... Okay, he's at the point now where like a down air into a knee is interesting back throw. I kind of like it actually. You think it was intentional? Yeah. No, no, but like <laughs> it worked out. But it's of. one of those things where it's like no one expects it, so you get one. Mm. And by the way, like you're not really getting anything by the ledges Falcon against Falco, because oh. he's like too close to run off. So if he dies out, you kind of just have to cop it. I guess you could do some pivot stuff. So remember they did the right thing with the down throw, and then he like crouched to um, you know, fade out the get up attack. But he went for jab, and that's I'm guessing he meant. Is I think he's like, been using jab a lot to cover spot dodge. Yeah, but a low percent of like. Oh, yeah, yeah you get crash cancelled. Yeah. But I think that's one of those things where he just forgot that, oh, yeah, I can't do that below like 60. Oh, this is so big. Yeah, why do you grab ledge? Yeah. No! I think. That's shield poke! That's. Sometimes life is not fair. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean... <laughs> sometimes you get shield. Oh, um, okay, yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, if you're not holding away, you just. Yeah, um, shield poke's happen. That's. Like, Falco's little. You know, his mohawk I seems real cool, but that sort of thing gets him hit. Nice thing, I think it clipped his, like, oh, back foot. Oh, okay. I think it clipped the, like... Didn't clip his, like, tail feathers or anything? I don't think so. I feel like it was... Anyway, Damn. we'll have to, like... We'll, you know, after this set, I'm sure we'll go back and watch yeah. the mods and... Yeah, get the Nintendo and Slippy going. Oh, okay. That was really good. I wonder if that was okay, a... yeah. I wonder if that was a, um, read or if that was him catching on the Kai's. Um, I wonder if, like, Kai was specifically oh, no, attacking... Yeah. I should have realized he lost his double jump there and just kind of down it. Uh, that's it's not what you a want very good spot. He reads the double jump, but he down airs instead of nairing, so he can just back three. I think that this has been a big thing with the set is your shield, shield pressure against Falcon doesn't have to be good, it just has to be good enough that you don't get stomped. Mm. At the moment, Kai is just like leaving enough of a gap that Ruben's taking lead advantage of it. Yeah, in between those shines. Especially because he's like wave shining. But that's... that's you big, big oh, that was really good DI. It's so good. Just because the way he slid off afterwards as well. Normally it's still in a bad spot there as fucking, but... Mm. Yeah, it wasn't so much. Oh, oh now if, I, if I'm... Good. Yeah, if I'm the spacey, I'm getting a bit spooked. But... Oh, he could have... I think he could have down it. Yeah, he could have. Oh, uh, really good can't let him get through that. Yeah. Did yeah, I catch gonna do it. Oh. Yeah. I wonder if he could have like jumped after laces. Uh, I don't think. He still I think the problem. Yeah, player. I think the problem there is you just get forward smash at 200. Because mm. you're not high enough to kind of force a mix up. You just kind of have to cop it. Which, I mean, you could get the tech, but. All right. Yeah. Stadium. That's pretty standard choice. Yeah. 
Especially because like Dreamline's already off. Well, they play game one there, yeah. I think so, yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay. They actually, I thought they went Yoshi's game one. Did they? Yeah, because why would you let Falcon go to Dreamland? Yeah. You force him to go sure. FD for Yoshi's. Okay. So I think he's still got Dreamland on the table if he mm. loses this or game five or whatever. He might end up going back to Stadium, to be honest. I think he. Uh, oh, yeah, game five, yeah. If he, um, if he loses, though. Yeah. Well, you never know what the tree can cause for Falcon. <laughs> so that was actually, even though it didn't matter at all, that was very good, um. Very good, like, STI. You can see, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sort of, like, move in, but did not make a difference. I hate when you're, like, STIing like that and you jump into something. It's oh. like, you know you're about to get, like, kneed by Falcon. And then they full hop instead of short hopping or something. And you're just, like, trying to mash it. It's like, oh. Yeah. It really... <laughs> Whenever your jump gets caught, caught by knee, it's... It's a bad feeling. Especially when you're trying to do the right thing, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Okay, gets the grab. Uh, spot dot shine. Yeah, spot dot shine definitely a good anti falcon option until he starts kneeing it. Yeah, it's true. It's falcon definitely has like if falcon gets a catches on that you're spot dodging, then yeah, stuff like knee or stomp is just so huge. Because like even at this percent, yeah, knee is a threat and a half. Mm. Uh, you know, Ruben like was ready for the get-up attack, but it just didn't matter. Sometimes Stadium does that to you. What a stage. It's... Catches the drift back. Yeah. Ruben was good to eye on it, though. Mm. Yeah. Can't DI that. I <laughs> think there might be a world where, like, some insane amount of SDI just somehow... Yeah, I'm like... Hits you. Thinking about before how you get out of down tilted by Mark. If you're up out of a double jump as Falcon, I'm like, I wonder if there's enough SDI to get back to like being able to detect the stage. Mm. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. That. Yeah. Ruben's got to catch on to like Kai's falling speed, I guess, and just go out there and hit him for it. Because the amount of times you could just go out, Falcon can just kind of cover everything with knee and then up air. If he like up his high, you just kind of have to do it every now and then. If I don't know, if you want to hit some of these edge guards, I think it's not. I mean, it's spooky because if you miss it's time, it's spooky. You get but it's also what like puts the fear of God into spaces. If you, yeah, like because that's what gets you uh, early stocks, which is kind of what you need against Falco. Because mm. like if you just kind of trade stocks with him, you're gonna lose eventually. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah, that was a bad double jump from Kai, this, and Kai this, knows it. Like, like it was the classic, you bump off the stage, so you're like, oh, I can act, and then you get hit by, yeah. No attack. Ooh, interesting. And suddenly this feels very, very good for the Falcon. It yeah, took yeah. like four knees. He was, like 20 seconds ago, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if he goes back to game five, yeah. uh, game four, but. And now you're thinking, oh, Kai's getting need once and losing this game. Yeah, yeah like one, I feel like maybe 10 more percent in a stomp. Yeah, or like one but knee and a read. He hasn't gotten hit in a while and he's... I keep going for like forward throw F smash to like... I guess catch out a bad double jump oh. to like... Oh, this is huge. Oh, oh, oh no. that's... Uh, and oh, life is not back, fair. Yeah. Sometimes life is not fair. Ruben had to realize he had to go high. Wouldn't have mattered, but like... Do I believe? I think he could have potentially ended it with a knee early when he went from there. Yeah. I think he was concerned the knee wouldn't come out, but yeah, I would have up yeah. it again. Right. Oh, yeah. And we're going back. That's yeah, it stands to reason. Like, yeah. when you're that close as well, it's like, I can obviously win this game. Good tech chasing to the left. And then if he can close... Ah, uh, yeah. He missed the L cancel then, or he was just slow, but... It is a guaranteed setup. I don't know what the go that was. Alright. Messes up the gentleman, but still gets out relatively free. Yeah. He's like, lost a bit of tempo, but. Oh! Good, good. Eye, though. Yeah, yeah, and doesn't double jump. Like, doesn't um, jump early. So, like. 
I think if he jumped early, he just got eaten by the um, down air. Yeah. But he's going high, and um, Kai's catching on, and just going out. Yeah, Falcon. Falcon can definitely just do that to Falcon. Mm. He's got the vertical leap. He can just jump up there and get him for it. In general, well, that's a That's such a bad feeling, getting a stomp at 80, and they're just, like, barely airborne. So yeah. they, they just land immediately, like, oh, mm. where, where's my stock? Um, in general, when, it, yeah, like, when edge guarding Falcon, if you um can meet him before he like oh yeah, the yeah, second yeah. half you want yeah because like before he starts drifting yeah yeah hundred percent like I know his fox just jump and double jump there and yeah so good against Falcon when edge guarding uh. Grab. So in these spots where um, Falcon has already had to double jump to like get close to the ledge, yeah. Kai is getting off the ledge early, and to be honest, you don't really need to in the sense. I, like, I think he's more. Yeah, if he, he's doing it early, yeah. Because um, he, I, I think the threat is that he's going to do the double jump a little bit later and need the ledge. Yeah. I'm talking about in spots like where he's um already double. Oh jumping. yeah, when he's done it early, yeah. yeah, you can definitely just hold on. Because up he doesn't grab you when you're on the ledge, so good edge cats. Oh, that was yeah, actually that was really a sick. Really clean stop. Yeah, the up doesn't grab you, so you can definitely just stand a get up like shine or forward smash or something. Mm -hmm. It's um not quite as good for Falco as it is for Fox, because with Fox you just shine <laughs> and it doesn't doesn't matter whether, whether they um I need a ledge or not after the up B. Yeah, like, yeah. You just shine into up smash or down smash or I feel like the difference between like, Ruben's Falcon and like a really good Falcon is Ruben, they're both putting him in the same spots, but the good Falcon just like terrible guy that shine. gets a read and just deletes the stock. Whereas Ruben's like he goes for the same read, but he doesn't like commit to it. So he's like Kai's probably gonna double jump back here to get and come, you know, right. back to the ledge. And SJJ jumps off and needs that every time, right? Yeah. Whereas Kai is just getting away with that sort of thing because Ruben's not going for the thing that kills him at zero. I mean, I guess that comes from experience and comfort. Yeah, exactly. And it's just about and like playing the character more than two tournaments. This is looking pretty good. Oh, no. This transformation is also so bad. But he's managed to, like, yeah. corral him out of it. Oh, that was up air. You gotta up air his stuff in there. Like, yeah, otherwise, I think Because so well. mm. it could have covered. I think yeah, you can't cover it high enough. Oh, that sucks so bad. You know Mark's grabbing that every time. Yeah. Shorten. So this is Falcon. So, you yeah. know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, oh. <laughs> the stock ain't over. Oh, and he misses his jump, so he doesn't get a back air. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Um, I guess we do one of the. We we'll probably do it up to the semis, right? Yeah, when it uh, loses quarters, one of them. Yeah. What do we got? I guess. 